The struggle is real, yo. The struggle is real. The struggle continues. Hey everybody, happy Thursday. We are at the Orlando Science Center for Otronicon 2015. Otronicon is kind of a convention or platform for electronics, technology, video gaming, all kinds of great stuff. We have Disney here, Electronic Arts, Lockheed Martin, and a, a bunch of other valuable companies. And they're going to uh, put on a whole bunch of different platforms and demonstrations for us. So let's check it out. Hey, by the way, look who I ran into. Oh my gosh, it's me and you, and we're here together. What's the chances of that happening? It's so crazy. You guys have been asking for a long time for us to do a joint video again. And, and here we are, and Tim should be here soon too. I think these guys are all looking for Star Wars variants at the comic store. I'm pretty sure this is canon. This is canon, right? Disney version of Star Wars? <laughs> so the first thing you notice in Otronicon in the hallways, they have all these different game systems here, right? So you got GameCube, the uh, Atari 2600 Retro. I don't know how I can get that wrong. Um, Wii U, PlayStation, Xbox. You got a bunch of Xbox with the Kinect. And down here you have PlayStation, all kinds of goodness. So this is what the inside looks like. And we're on the third floor. We got Bright House over here. Nice catered event. Lots of food and drinks. Florida Interactive Entertainment Academy is over here. Check out this giant cake, yo. We got this big version 10. The microphone and the joystick. The mouse. You got a little Wii controller. You got your PlayStation controller. This is boss. UCF is here, the School of Visual Art and Design. We got EA Sports with a bunch of things being displayed here. So you got UFC for um, PlayStation 4 out and NHL 15 for Xbox and also for PlayStation. And you also have FIFA. I like that they have the theming like the basketballs, the soccer chairs, and the regular rocker chairs, but soccer chairs for FIFA are pretty cool. I also like that they theme this up with the basketball hoop in the NBA section. And a little rack of basketballs. That's pretty awesome. Also football chairs, but they're circular. That's kind of funny. Otronicon. I do want to welcome all of you, our esteemed guests, partners, and special friends. And I am so thrilled tonight to see this huge crowd in this building that is bursting with amazing technology and unforgettable experiences and an incredible roster of partners. The one thing that hasn't changed in 10 years, and I mean, the technology certainly has changed tremendously, but the one thing that hasn't changed is our passion for inspiring guests of all ages with the unlimited possibilities of science and technology. What Otronicon does so well and what we do every day here at the Science Center is present STEM concepts, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, in a forum that's hands-on, that's engaging, and unforgettable. This event only lasts for four days. But that purpose is at the heart and soul of what we do at the Orlando Science Center throughout the year. It's guided us this past year as we reached 475,000 people, 100,000 of them being teachers and students. We want to show our audiences, especially the younger visitors, that STEM careers are varied and exciting and that STEM professionals look a lot like them. We're using technology to bring people together. Middle schoolers mentoring elementary schoolers, showing them the next steps on a path of possibilities. That's what Otronicon is really all about. One of these young people will change the world and they will start their journey here at the Orlando Science Center at Otronicon this weekend. This has been an event that's a beacon for our ever-growing tech community here in the city of Orlando and Orange County and Seminole and Osceola. <laughs> okay, so um, 
the New York Times, I guess it was last Sunday, ranked um, Orlando in its 52 best places to visit and said not just because of our theme parks but because of everything else that we have going on. And just as the Dr. Phillips Center and the Amway Center and Sunrail are redefining what Orlando is all about, so is our tech industry redefining what we are all about. And the Orlando Science Center is a huge part of helping our youth take advantage of all the great jobs that are being created in STEM fields. And I certainly appreciate that. So everybody on stage now has been a partner for the last 10 years in bringing this event together. Most impressive. It's the ceremonial cutting of the door. For you, it could read your emails, you know, let you know of your schedule, um, but also, you know, something you can play with, something that you can, you can enjoy. <laughs> I believe the robot's name is Hi, right? Hi. Oh, by the way, we're in this guy too. Tim's here. He's here now. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a lot of virtual reality happening here. That's pretty awesome. Lockheed Martin. A few guys that have watched me fail miserably with the Orlando United guys playing Call of Duty. They have real live, exo not live, but real in the person technology here for exoskeletons. And it's not me just dying repeatedly using it and trying to jump horribly. So this is really awesome. And just for clarification, this is the Fortis exoskeleton that he's demonstrating now. So he's able to hold the tool a little more steady, effortlessly, by just using the exoskeleton. These guys have a flight simulator going on. Very cool. Flying, looks like helicopters. We've got a helicopter up there. There's somebody out there that's already engineered. Extremely awesome. Okay. And over here we've got NASA, Kennedy Space Center. Who doesn't love NASA? And there's the Orion rocket. So we watched that in a video not too long ago, launching from our driveway. So awesome. So we're at NASA, they're going to take pictures, and Tim and Jen are going to become astronauts one at a time now. Yeah. <laughs> Check out these rocket models in the background. So you got the SpaceX rocket. So the rocket on the right is SLS Space Launch Services. By the way guys, I'm officially an astronaut. That is what I do for a living. I just haven't told you yet. So you got racing simulators where they're at Daytona and they're doing the fastest lap competition. So Electronic Arts has concept art out of their different games, some of which they have never seen before. But I have a fun fact for you. This is the Superman game that was based off of the Brandon Routh Superman. I game tested that game at Electronic Arts way back when, and I could not get it to work very well. I was not a big fan of that game. I do love Electronic Arts, but this poster just reminded me of that, or the painting. So they've cut the cake, and you've got pieces over here. And then you got more concept art over here, so you got a locker room situation, some NBA. And this was a gift to the Science Center from Electronic Arts. It's an autographed Richard Sherman uh, jersey. And we've got a signed game as well. Very cool. And this is more concept art, though I'm not really sure what game this is from. So you guys may remember when we were here for the Maker Fair, we saw these giant Tesla coils work. The Tesla coils are going to be used today for music with a band called Architect. They use the Tesla coils in conjunction with the band and play songs from the, the notes played by the Tesla coils, including this badass robot drummer. You hear that drummers out there? We no longer need you. We're gonna replace you with robots. He's gotta be better than like Ricky Rocket at least, right? So with the robot drummer, is it a given that they're gonna cover Sticks Mr. Roboto? I guess we'll find out.
I get it. Okay. It's pretty neat, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what's going on here is we have these two test coils that we have built and designed ourselves to play music. It turns out we're actually hearing, we're actually being played by the sparks themselves. They weren't coming through the speakers or anything. We'll get into how that works in a little bit. But I'm sure some of you, especially the folks from the first show, are wondering, how can I get involved in something like this? We may notice we have a nice human-sized cage in the middle of the stage. And I think what we're going to do now is we're going to pick some people out of the audience and make you dance for our amusement. How's that sound? <laughs> Size of this Tesla coil again that is performing the music. So they don't use any amplification. What you're hearing is just the Tesla coil, which is just amazing. And what can you say more about that drummer? So the drummer is not named Ultron, as you would imagine. The drummer's name is King Beats, and he is a mediocre rapper as well. Fun fact. Chester Kennedy, great to meet you. So, by the way, there's a whole bunch of science in. Uh, medical equipment here as well. Florida Hospital has a bunch of equipment here. I'm sure this is canon also. Times are tough. So this is the now empty BART Lounge. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Science! Hey, Microsoft is here. That dinosaur is slightly terrifying. So this is the Disney exhibit. And it kind of looks like Toy Story Mania, a little bit. But uh, also like Pete's Silly Circus, I think I'm saying that right. But this is the, uh, the Disney experience. And you're thinking Angry Birds, how does that fit in with Disney Star Wars? It's a Disney property. Over here you have like a uh, online Toy Story Mania game. So you got a strength tester also. So this is um, showing strain gauging and how we um, use that to um, uh, do testing on the different parts of our attraction. Okay. So we made that into a strength um, a strength game. So you can bend it. And you can see the strength goes up. But this is aluminum. All right. You can see if I use the same force on steel. Uh, it takes a little bit more energy to do that. So this, this helps to understand like why we use certain materials. Maybe we use aluminum for a certain um, part, or maybe we use steel for another part. Excellent. Yeah. And you got Toy Story Mania over here. So this is the actual game from the Toy Story Mania ride yeah. at Hollywood Studios. And for the sake of science, uh -huh. only for the sake of science, the Gen Tracker is going to play. Yeah, I'm trying to get this to open up here. Oh, 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 oh. You see him? You see him? <laughs> Oh no, I've never been good at this game. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the little, the little guys. This is a lot better than waiting like three hours. Yeah, 220 minute wait. I think I'll rather do this. Excellent. 
don't have our air set up. So, um, but, gotcha. when, but when you, but when we do have our air set up, you'll be able to control different parts of the. Okay. So totally not fully functioning right at the moment, but this is a demonstration of animatronics of Disney for audio and for visual. And you operate based off of this box. The air isn't working yet, but over the weekend, next four days, if you come out and check us out, this will be up and running. Awesome stuff. Pepper's Ghost Protector. Yes. This so is Pepper's Ghost. Have to zoom in through this hole right here. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. But, um, similar to Haunted Mansion, um, you know how in the in the ballroom scene here, you see all the spirits materialize. So this is actually the same exact effect. There are little dimmer switches on the side of here. If you want to like play with them so that he can actually see what's going on. All right, we're gonna see if we can get this going here. You ready? Yeah. Oh, I see Donald and Goofy. R2. Donald and Goofy and Mickey and R2. And it's a total effect. Just a total visual effect. Awesome. Check it out, Baymax's head has crayons inside of it. That's crazy. <laughs> and so It's a Trap is here as well. This is an escape room adventure. These are popping up around Orlando. And basically, it is a strategy of trying to escape a room within a given time period, solving puzzles. So you got a bunch of cool stuff. So Dave School is here too, by the way. We see Dave School at all of the events, Megacon, Star Wars Celebration, all over the place. And they're giving out these little three printed octopus. Looks like Cthulhu. Actually, it looks like Hail Hydra. Awesome. So it's the end of the event. Vader and Boba Fett are still here. You could say they're such troopers. This was a lot of fun, and this was just the preview night. There's a whole lot more to see that we didn't even get to see yet. It'll be here all weekend. From Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I highly suggest checking it out if you're in town. It'll be here Monday, too. Hey, we're back home. I can tell you guys that Otronicon was a ton of fun, and we only got to see a few hours of it in preview. I can't wait to be able to see that when it's in full production over the weekend. I'm hoping that I can get back over that way. There is so much to see and, uh, you know, just tons of, of fun activities and stuff. If you like science or if your family likes science, kids like science, I'd highly encourage you guys to make a trip over that way. It's, oh, it's a really great time. So, especially Architect. Those guys were amazing, you know. Anyway, enough of me gushing about it. I love that stuff and it was fantastic. So... I'm going to get some sleep now so I can wake up tomorrow morning and do this all over again. And on that note, thank you for the likes and the comments and the subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. See you guys.